Today we're just going to get right into it as your favorite talking head does his best to review another television show. Today's is the lovely Big Door Prize from Apple TV. It just finished its first season or hopefully it just is first season. You never know with these streaming sites, but I thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope you do too. Hi, I'm your host, Chris Humphrey, and for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm just another talking head doing my best to get my opinion out there because I hope one day it matters. But really, I want you guys to discuss with me down below if you like it or like me, but I want to create a discussion. And today, it's the Big Door Prize, Apple TV, uh, new big show, just finished his first season, and it literally stars Chris O'Dowd. But the concept is so cool that I kept watching because I like the idea of it and they kept calling it a comedy and it's it's a dramedy, right? It's it's a mixture of both. The plot, because I'll tell you the plot, the premise is so cool that in this small town, sleepy small town, America, this uh, lovely box shows up in the main convenience store. And when you put money in there and your social security number, uh, it and then put your hand on it, it tells you your uh, your life's worth, what um, your potential will be. And then the town gets hooked on it, and they all want to be what their potential says. That's essentially what it is. That's the plot device. Obviously, anything you put your social security into, I would hesitate, especially a big box. Uh, but that's where the comedy part uh, comes in when the results come in of what people's life potential would be. One would be royalty, one would be superstar, one would be hero, one would be a teacher. Uh, it's very funny seeing how the different people react uh, to it. And the cast of characters is well done. What some people aren't going to like is that it, it jumps from character to character uh, because it's trying to build its story. And from what I understand, it's based off of a very, very popular book, which I haven't read. So I will now check out just because I like the premise and I want to see if it adds more. But this can potentially go on for the next uh, couple of years if they want to milk it uh, because the premise is uh, well done. What people aren't going to like is that it's a little slow and it does jump from character to character. And it's not really a comedy more in the sense that it's a dramedy, right? Uh, so it's not laugh, laugh out loud at the minute, right? And that seems to be Apple TV's uh, premise with these comedies, right? Uh, let's get to the heart of people. Let's laugh at ourselves at important times. And that seems to be, if you look at Apple TV's comedy series, uh, right, Shrinking, Ted Lasso, uh, The Big Door Prize, this one, Acapulco, you look at them, uh, uh, trying, another great one. If you look at these shows, Apple TV is trying to get to the human part of people and make fun of the human part of people and do it in a way where you can't help a lot. So sarcastic people like me really like these kind of shows. And that seems to be where Apple TV is killing it. And the Big Door Prize is no, uh, no different than those shows where it takes something so serious and makes fun of it. And it does it in a way that uh, it, it can be very clever, clever comedy, like Frasier used to be. Uh, but if, um, if you don't like that, then don't bother watching it. But if you do... Continue to watch Chris O'Dowd steal every scene that he's in. He's very talented. Uh, my wife loved him in uh, uh, Bridesmaids. She loved that movie. Uh, and that's why the only reason I could get her to agree to the show. But the person that steals the show is Josh Segura. I hope I'm saying his name right. I would know him as Adrian Trace from Arrow franchise. And when I saw him in this, he's very funny. Uh, he's always charming, right? good-looking guy from Orange is the New Black and all that, right? Uh, the woman love him. But when he was in this, I didn't realize how funny he was. And it, uh, he's got some very good funny uh, parts in this. He's probably my favorite part of the show, if I'm being honest, in the season. Because uh, I didn't realize how funny he was. And he's got very good comedic timing. And he plays off of, of uh, Chris O'Dowd so well. I, they were a good duo. 
uh, in a way. So that's who I think steals the show. I thought it was charming. I like the idea of the potential and I like the idea that, um, that uh, seeing people react and trying to become their life's potential, I, I, thought, I thought it was really well done. Uh, it's not the perfect show, right? There are some parts where uh, it, it just drags on and you're like, okay, all that for a 10 second joke. You're like, yeah, okay. But then it ends and then you're like, ah, okay. So this is what they were getting at uh, with that show and that's where it picks up. So it, it starts off cool premise, slow in the, the like third or fourth episode kind of down and then it gets into the life's potential and what it means. And for one, I really enjoyed it. Uh, you could see where I put it on the, the list of TV shows uh, this year because I think it was an 8 out of, out of 10. I liked it enough to knock off uh, another 7. So you can see anything in my top 5 is going to be hard to beat. Uh, but you can see that I liked it enough to say bye-bye to the recruit. But this is only season 1 from my, what I understand. There's already a second season in there because it was well thought of. And it has a unique premise. And that can probably hold you for... For at least four seasons uh, until people get tired of it but there are some uh, parts and some actors in there that do a great job at playing a priest and do a great job at playing a wife who wants to be royalty and a, a mother who wants to be a dancer there's a lot of uh, intriguing part if this machine was alive now and or alive now. If this machine was real now and it was in a corner store here, I could see it being popular in Brazil because people would want to know, okay, so this is telling me what my life's potential is. But when you get to the secret behind the machine, that's where I want to know more. I want to know who's running this machine. Is it aliens? What's going on? Maybe you find out in the season finale. I don't want to spoil anything, but maybe you don't. Uh, and it just goes to another new town. But I like the premise. I like the idea of it that it helped me stick it through. And I like the comedy bits, especially between Josh and uh, Chris. They they do a good job at battling uh, each other. And the lovely lady that plays his wife, I, I don't think I've seen her in anything. Uh, she needs a huge uh, shout out. Uh, she did a great job at... Um, being the wife to Chris's character, Chris's depressive uh, character who's trying to be a teacher and trying to not worry about his life's potential. She does a good job at uh, keeping the men at bay in the show. Uh, that's literally what her character does. She keeps Josh's character and Chris's character at bay uh, and keeps them in check. And that's generally what all wives do, I think. They keep all men in check, uh, unless you're Pablo Escobar's wife or Stalin's or Hitler's or other powerful men. But either way, most wives keep us in check, right? Uh, and that's what she does. She keeps all the men in the show uh, in check. Uh, and I'm intrigued by the teenagers in this show to see how they deal with their life uh, potential, especially with uh, some sad events in the uh, the beginning, but I liked it. Let me know if you like this kind of dry sense of humor. Let me know what you think of me down below. Let me know if you think this is another big hit by Apple TV like I do because I definitely think it is. But if I don't see you guys again, I appreciate you. But I like to say bom dia, boa tarde, and boa noite. Ciao. Producer, play my music, baby. <laughs>